When I was nine years old, I had a friend named Winston that lived across the street from me. One day he came over, he came into the backyard where I was, and he had a golf ball in his hand. And he comes up to me, he's just a few feet away, and he says, hey Jake, I'm gonna hit you in the head with this golf ball. And I'm thinking, what, what on earth are you talking about? This is a terrible game, I don't see this ending well. And he says it again, I'm gonna hit you in the head with this golf ball. And, and the story's not very long, he reaches back, he throws the ball as hard as he can, and the ball hits me right between the eyes, and I am knocked out cold on the floor. I wake up a few minutes later, and my dad's there, my brother's there. Winston had fled the scene of the crime, he was nowhere to be found. And uh, recently I was talking to my brother about this and he said that he remembered that, that the bump on my head looked as if there was a golf ball underneath my skin trying to get out. And he could even see these little dimples that are on the golf ball. He could see that in my forehead. Now, th don't worry, there, there is a point to this story. Uh, Wince and I, we remained, we remained friends. And I guess that means my criteria for friendship is very low. If you throw a golf ball at my head, I guess we'll be friends for life. And... Uh, so later on, about, I don't know, I was 18 years old, around there, this is after high school, we were talking and I asked him, I said, hey dude, do you remember the time you hit me in the head of the golf ball? And he said, yeah, I remember that. My, I said, why on earth did you do that? Why did you hit me in the head of the golf ball? And he said, I was actually just trying to scare you. I didn't want to hit you, but I was trying so hard to not hit you in the head that I hit you in the head. And what he's saying was, I was focusing so hard on where I did not want the ball to go. He should have been aiming over here where he wanted it to go instead of looking at my head saying, don't throw it there, don't throw it there. He probably shouldn't have been throwing a golf ball in this area at all, but, but that's besides the point. He should have been aiming where he wanted it to go. And what I realized from that is whatever it is that we're aiming for, whatever it is that we're looking for, that's what we get. That's what we're going to see. If we look for the good things in the world, we're going to find more of it. If we look for the good within ourselves, we're going to find it. If we look for the good within others, or if we look for the good with our situation, we're going to find it. But if all we're doing is looking for the bad, that's all we're going to find. We're not going to find anything else. But if we focus on the good, we are going to find more of it. I choose to focus on the good, and I hope you will too. 